right, it is 2 o'clock here on Lightning 100. We're live. we got the cameras on. You can take a look at volume.com slash Lightning 100 if you want to see in our tiny studio. Here we are on Bob Dylan's birthday. Uh, and Casey just walked in and mentioned that Tina Turner passed away. So uh, very, very sad to hear that. Uh, and, uh, of course, we had a lot of great years of Tina. And we've got Ryan Hahn and the Believers here at the studio. They're going live here with us. How are you guys doing today? We're doing damn good. How you doing? Not not bad at all. It's it's a nice day to have you here at the radio station. Uh, you got uh, a pair of shows here while you're in the Nashville area. Yep, yep. Going to be out at Kimbrough's Pick and Parlor. That one's tomorrow, Friday at the Bowery Vault with an early kickoff at 5. Going to have a songwriter's round uh, with Nick Morris, Charlie McCord, and... This is, which is our boy Charlie here in the studio. Right oh, yeah, oh that's you. Yeah, 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 I, did yeah, yeah, yeah. I did not Ryan really Hunt. connect yeah. the dots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's you, Charlie. Got it. Great. Yep. <laughs> uh, and, and and how do you pronounce the third guy's name? Because I uh, Kapali Long. He's, Kapali. he's one of my uh, my buddies from uh, back in L.A. He's a great like Hawaiian folk country artist. Nice. Really, really great. Is is he at Kimbros with you too? He's at Kimbros with us too. Yep. Exactly. And then we have our friend uh, Nicholas Mudd, who's actually a Kentucky native like me, but also lives in Los Angeles. Who's out here uh, in in L.A. He'll be playing with us there as well. Awesome. Well, we got Ryan Hahn and the Believers stripped down acoustic version yep. of what you can catch here in town Thursday and Friday. They got a new record out. Uh, we're going to be chatting to them about it. It's Ryan Hahn and the Believers dot com. And I think that uh, are you going to play all right first? Yeah, we can do all right first. Yeah, and, and that's that's how this this little record starts is with exactly. with all right. Uh, how how old is this song compared to uh, going into the recording studio? <laughs> oh, it's um, I couldn't even put a I couldn't even put a date on it. That was actually all right's probably one of the first songs that I wrote um, when I sort of started kind of putting Ryan Hahn and the Believers together. Um, so that's probably eight years old, wow. something like that. So it's been it's been around for a while. Lovely. All right. So road tested. Exactly, exactly, <laughs> exactly. It just wasn't quite, didn't quite fit with the first record we did, and, you know, it, everything kind of came together on this one and, and finally got to got to have its place. Well, let's, uh, let's hear it. If you want to see it, you can look, volume.com slash lightning100. Live in the volume.com studios at Lightning 100, it's Ryan Hahn and the Believers and All Right. You ready, Charlie? Mm -hmm. All right.
Lightning 100 live here in the volume.com studio and on volume.com slash lightning 100. Ryan Hahn and the Believers. It is coming up Thursday and Friday. They got shows here in Nashville. Uh, Thursday, actually, in Franklin out at yep. Kimbrough's Pick and Parlor. Friday at the Bowery Vault with the early 5 o'clock kickoff. They're going to have a songwriters round. And then Ryan Hahn and the Believers. And Charlie McCord, who plays with Ryan Hahn yep. in the yeah. studio with us today, also yeah, yeah. Part of that songwriters round. Uh, so, Ryan, tell us a little bit about your story. Uh, it's kind of in the title of of this new release, from the country to the concrete. Yep. Uh, and but you you did mention that you're originally from Kentucky. Yeah, I'm originally from a little small town called Lawrenceburg. Uh, I always tell people um, it's where they make four roses and wild turkey. That's kind of our our claim to fame. Um, super small town. Grew up on a little tobacco farm out there that we still have. Um, actually, throw in the last show of our trip here out to the south um, out on my farm doing a big party out there um, but yeah I grew up you know tobacco farm playing sports going to church and uh, basically started touring when I was around 17 with my band at the time um, traveled the traveled the country and had some stops in Los Angeles and I just kind of loved it out there and you know wanted a little bit of change of pace um, so moved out there 18 years ago um, so I've been out there for quite a while. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That's, uh, that's almost as long as we've been in this location at the radio station. We, we used to be uh, downtown on the 30th floor of the LNC Tower, and we got here in 2005. Which I feel like is, is that that's the same. That's the same year I moved to Los Angeles. You? Yep, exactly. Wow, the year of change, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, has as uh, since since you got to L.A. Has it changed a lot bet between then and now? Uh, it's changed uh, a ton, a whole a whole lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, for good and for bad. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, for me, it's been it's been nice. You know, L.A. Just the opportunity out there compared to you know where I was at in Kentucky musically and everything, um, and especially these days, the last. Five, six years out there, the whole kind of Americana, roots music, country scene in Los Angeles is totally blowing up out there. Um, and I, I throw, I'm kind of one of the folks that throw kind of regular monthly country shows, um, Americana shows out there. But there's tons of great, great artists out in L.A. these days that you kind of wouldn't expect, you know, such a strong scene of that kind of music out there. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't talk it up too much. We we don't want our people uh, leaving. Yeah, Nashville. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> well, uh, we've we've had plenty of our folks come to Nashville, so I think y'all have stolen more than we'll steal from you. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And and when when you go back to your home in Kentucky, has has it changed much since you left? Um. Yeah. I mean, honestly, the the bourbon industry with how much that's been growing. Um, for the most part, I mean, outside of, you know, obviously the the drug issues in Tennessee, Kentucky that have gotten worse. Outside of that, you know, the my town finally has a pretty solid economy happening because of the bourbon industry. Um, you know, my our only problem is living out living out in the country. You know, my, my parents get a little upset that there's little Airbnbs popping out on our road and stuff, you know, encro <laughs> encroaching on our peaceful little I guess you can't escape area. those wherever you are. Exactly, exactly. I got, I got one next door to me. My parents have one yep. next door to them. Yeah. It's, it's the first It's the first time, you know, in a long time that there's been able to be a business in our little downtown area, you know, that has actually lasted for more than a year or two. So it's it's really nice to see, you know, the the city growing and, and everything. Just just keep away from keep away from our area in the country, <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, so so you're here in Nashville for a couple days. Uh, and so when when you're here in Nashville, what's something you like to do? What's a place you like to go to? Where's a place you like to eat or um, well, I was because this is actually Charlie's first time in, in Nashville and, okay. or Kentucky at all. So okay, he's, so you're giving him the, the, the nickel tour. Yeah, well, I want to tell you, you know, there's so many good places, um, you know. So trying to think. Gotta, we got to get the recommendations. Exactly. From, well, from my, you know, my, my no, first. I'm new, you know. I'm, my first thing was like, you know, classic, you know, take him out to Prince's, like the original Prince's. Yeah. You know, yeah. Wait in I mean, line for an hour and a half. That's for right. Some the worst, chicken. worst service and best food. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Gets, you know, the best of both worlds. Yeah. Um, but then I've got, you know, 
It's a bunch of places. Uh, might be going. Got to take them to the guitar shops. Yeah, that's that's one yeah, thing that yeah, would be yeah. nice. If, uh, we can make time to go check out some some iconic guitar shops. Cause yeah, I feel like we got some good ones. There's there's one I like called Groon Guitars. That's what uh, Brandon. They've was been around about. for like 50 years. They they move locations. It used to be downtown, right by the Ryman, and then they have mm-hmm. a new spot not too far away from here, really, even uh, in the Eighth Avenue South. And it is it's so cool Real in cool. there. Uh, I, w- I was talking to an artist that they, they were reminiscing on how when they went in there, they felt like Harry Potter getting a wand because the owner was <laughs> like, hold on a second. And went in like, this guitar is for you. And, and they played it like, yep, I got to get this one. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, we need, to, we, need to get a, we need to get a little list of some recommendations <laughs> for you, you know. Awesome, yes. Most, most of my time in Nashville was spent, uh, you know, back before I moved. And I've spent some time since I've been moving back, but... Um, you know, need some need some of the the it's local changed, the newer stuff. Yeah. It's yeah, changed. It's yeah. changed a lot. Oh, I can imagine. Uh, but uh, yeah, we, we're 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 great. We're grateful for it and grateful to have Ryan Hahn and the Believers here in the Volume dot com studio. You got two shows: one down at Kimbrough's Pick and Parlor tomorrow, and one on Friday at the Bowery Vault with an early five o'clock kickoff. They'll have a songwriters round out there. Followed by a full band performance. We got Ryan and Charlie here in the studio, stripped down and acoustic. Uh, so you want to play another song from this new record? Yeah, yeah, let's play another one. What do you want to play? I think we'll do uh, we'll do Little Town this time since we just kind of chatted about, you know, and, the hometown and, and all that. All, all Right, you said, was one that you've had for eight Eight years or so. Yeah, maybe. I mean, maybe more. Maybe, maybe more, right? Yeah. <laughs> Who's uh, f- finally got finally got that one recorded. What about Little Town? This this one is a little more recent. I wrote this one, you know, shortly uh, just before the pandemic, um, or actually, it was no, it was during 2021. It was essentially during the BLM protests when all that was happening, which I guess was early 2021. Um, so that one was kind of inspired by the reaction of the small town, you know, to to what was going on with all that. Well, this is Ryan Hahn and the Believers live on Lightning 100 with Little Town. Southern sun, 
Lightning 100, Ryan Hahn and the Believer, stripped down acoustic here in the volume.com studio. Ryan Hahn and the Believer's 